blockbuster. It's gone bust, you know, in terms of its brand. You don't really see it on the high street anymore. It's nowhere in the UK. But there's one left in the world now. One left in the world. And that is in Bend, Oregon. Jeez, Bend, Oregon. Never heard the place. We'll probably never, ever go there. Although Oregon is the HQ, the global HQ of Nike. So it is on the map for something. But Bend, I'm not sure what Bend's on the, on the map for. But hey, it's now on the map for the last blockbuster. So um, yeah, so people in Bend have been going to this blockbuster for, for quite a while now. And uh, so this is a chain that's been going for 20 years. Uh, it's still, it's still not, it's still not completely bit in the dust. Netflix and Amazon haven't quite killed it off. This is a report that went out in the US. It smells the same. It absolutely smells the same. Oh, wow. I haven't seen any of these things, any of these cases or any of these movies before. It's been so long since I've been in a DVD rental place. Like this is, there's just so much stuff. There's a place for both. There's a place for Netflix and Hulu and Amazon, and there's a place for this. And so it's still, it's still got a lot of nostalgia about it. But to be honest, right, it's a bit of a weird one. I actually think that if Blockbuster, like whoever owns Blockbuster or the, the big conglomerate behind it, um, or if someone, a rich benefactor perhaps somewhere around the world, was to plow a load of money into Blockbuster now and like start up retro kind of shops every now and again, you know, like in various cool areas, I think that would take off. I think that would genuinely take off now. It's been about three or four years, maybe longer than that actually, that the chain's gone from the high street. But I just think that we're so saturated with streaming and so saturated with like video everywhere. You pick up your phone, a video pops up, something pops up, there's something to watch, you know? YouTube, um, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, everything, anything you think of, you know, even the traditional broadcasters, BBC, you know, Sky, ITV, everyone's plowing video at you on their platforms. Maybe an old school approach, like going out to go and hire a video, you know, a videotape, maybe not a VHS, VHS is, you know, they just don't, yeah. Oh, please tell me I'll hit record, fuck. Yeah, jeez, momentary brain lapse there. But yeah, just anything like, <laughs> Someone's to invest a lot of money in Blockbuster now, and like say you can go and rent like all like all the brand new films, brand new films. Get them, get the films just before they come out on like you know box office and all that, and on the planes. Like so, they're just just out of the cinema. Strike some deal so you can get them just as they're finished from the cinema, and they go to Blockbuster before they hit the mainstream. Oh, I think Blockbuster would fly. What do you reckon? Do you think there's a room? Do you think there's room for Blockbuster again in today's high street? Maybe not the high street, but in some way, like quirky shops or like a mail order system. I don't know, maybe not. Love Film tried that, didn't it? And then I got bought out. Would Blockbuster work if it was to come back? Let me know. As always, thank you very much indeed for watching. This has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. Do drop us a like, subscribe, follow, and hit the notifications bell as well. We'd love you to do that and watch some of the other videos uh, as well too. That would be great. So as ever, do stay positive and keep happy and we'll see you again very, very soon indeed. Hopefully this voice will be better by then as well. Hopefully. Like the last blockbuster, so these people, people in uh, people in Bend. Right. My voice is completely toast.